Rutgers University President Robert Barchi's attempt at controlling the conversation at today's rescheduled town hall meeting ended abruptly when one member of the audience got up and forced a premature end to his PowerPoint presentation. You have been speaking to us for 25 minutes, and you have been telling us the most obvious things imaginable. You have spent who knows how much for a consulting group to tell you that the educational mission of our university is research and teaching. Who knew? The meeting, postponed last week after the Mike Rice controversy exploded, was supposed to be a conversation about the status of the merger with UMDNJ and an opportunity for students, faculty, and staff at Rutgers Newark to air their concerns about the future of their campus. Barchi's role in the scandal was front and center, with many here calling on the president to resign or to be fired. This guy clearly held, withheld information that was really important to the Rutgers community and did nothing. I mean, what happened was a slap on the wrist, a fine. What did Rice get a fine? And he had to go to anger management, right? And they were trying to hide it. I mean, since he knew from Junior, why didn't he make a move ahead of time? Uh, just comes to show you that they don't really care about students and about the faculty. All they care about is money. Uh, I know the importance of sports in all universities, not just Rutgers, but it shouldn't be in front of education to the point that people's education is, is hurting, uh, resources are hurting, uh, research, uh, whatever the particular departments are, is hurting as a result to put sports first. That, that I don't agree with. Barchi was brought in last year primarily to shepherd the university through the controversial merger with UMDNJ. The neuroscientist and former provost at Penn had never run a school with the kind of big-time athletic program Rutgers is trying to develop. At times today, and indeed last week, when the controversy broke, he seemed to be out of his element. I serve at the pressure of the board every day, and I serve basically at the pleasure of the university every day. The university announced the formation of a search committee for a new athletic director, who will then have to start a search for a new coach. The progress of the university's merger is ongoing and will be the subject of future town hall meetings like this one. The pressure from the university community is not likely to die down, leaving some to question whether he will even be around to see through to the conclusion the merger he was specifically brought in to supervise. In Newark, I'm David Cruz, NJ Today.